Hello everyone. This is not the first episode. I'm going to call this episode zero actually. Because I've gone through this a fair bit in the past in detail. But I kind of want kind of an introductory episode to kind of talk about what Voice of Anadiel is. So I'm, I'm here post Hyrule Jumble. It is gone. A big part of my life is now over, at least last year. Um, and the next series is going to be a little different. Shorter. The whole point of this series is basically I want to do something that is less gameplay focused. I need a break from that, I think, for weekly streams. So I thought, why don't we do some watch alongs? In this case, watching the cutscenes and finding out a little bit more about the small game Final Fantasy XI, the MMO RPG that was released in like early 2000s, I think. People talk about this game a lot, and I, I want to know more about it. I want to experience it and understand what this game is, really. But I didn't want to just watch it because I thought that'd be kind of boring, just going through all the um, cutscenes voice acting them I thought it'd be more fun to have something else going on in the background so introducing my little mini game I've added called the casket so I'm gonna go to the main screen so you guys can see this hello uh, there's no music on this screen but this works too um the casket chat is a mini game that's going to be done once an hour um at the at the first hour at the second hour and at the third hour at the end of the stream. So we're going to get the first hour done and then about 10 minutes of the treasure casket, 50 minutes, 10 minutes, 50 minutes, and then 10 minutes at the end. That's the plan with this. Uh, it's going to be a lot more break focused. I'm looking forward to it, but we're going to see how it goes. It's very experimental, so I don't know if it's going to work out necessarily, but going through it, I'm going to open this. So you guys can see the mini game. So closing this, we can get a little smaller. Unfortunately, I can't rescale this for some reason because it hates me. But basically, the aim of the Shadow Casket mini game is to guess the number between zero and one hundred. If I fail, I have to roll a punishment wheel. If I succeed, I roll a reward wheel. This is going to be determined by the number of attempts at the top there. So seven. If I succeed. I will have to reduce the number of attempts by two for the next one. If I fail, I increase the number of attempts. So it should scale in a way where I'm not only doing punishments and I'm not only doing rewards. There will be a balance between the two. If I get lucky, then we'll see what happens. But it entirely comes down to how long it takes. I think seven's a good number because that's a, I think that's a good rough estimate of how long it will take me to guess it. But it could also be like eventually minus one attempts. <laughs> Exactly. That, that's going to happen, chat. We're going to get minus one attempts. Imagine if I got on, like, on the first attempt. It, it would become like, you have to do a punishment next time. I'd probably just stay at one, I think, if we got to one. So say now, for example, I go for 50. Too high. Okay, 20, 26. Too low. 35. Too low. 40. Too low. 45. Too low. 47? Too low? <laughs> it's either 48 or 49. Okay, 49. Yay! <laughs> okay, that was a crazy one. I almost got it in the first one. So if I succeed, I get to roll a wheel of rewards. So the way this is going to work, chat, is I've got the wheel of names here that I put together. And I'm going to open the reward wheel go for this right now and so here we've got um some stuff uh, and i'm gonna roll it and we're gonna see what we get concordo i don't remember what concordo was but that is a thing from 14 not 14 11 uh, i'm just gonna search for that so concordo is oh comfy music playlist so that will play a music playlist that will go on for the next uh, hour or 50 minutes. If this becomes a problem and people get irritated by it, I will turn it off. But we'll see how it goes because there was a punishment that is this, but the opposite called Unconcordal, where um, it's going to play a lot of bad songs and people are not going to enjoy that probably. 
but yeah, they 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 have it. That is the the rewards. Uh, we also got punishments as well, which I'll go through right this second. So, punishment wheel. So things like double, where my karma I get is is doubled, uh, or I have to do like a word or or a crossword. You might be wondering, what is karma? So going back to the treasure casket, we have a little number at the top left called karma. Karma will increase if I if I fail. So if I get a punishment, I have to increase the karma by one. If I get a reward, that will decrease the karma by one. The aim for you guys is to get me to certain thresholds. If I reach those thresholds, I will have to do a thing later on. And it will be a much bigger thing than just doing a five minute punishment. So to give you an idea of what we have in store, we have... Vial of Chaos Blood, every multiple of three. This will only happen the first time it reaches that multiple. So if I get three, get less than three, and then three again, I can't. You can't just instantly redeem it again. So it has to be three, six, nine, t t uh, twelve. It can't just be three, 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 three. That's not how it works. <laughs> uh, but for multiples of three, the wheel of the top one hundred worst user reviewed games will be spun. Whatever we get, I'll be doing a quick harvest on under the name Soul Harvest. That is the most likely thing going to happen. I think we're probably going to get a few of those, and I'm nervous about it, but we'll see how it, how it goes. 20, I will be doing a full playthrough of Daymare 1994 Sandcastle during Spoopytober this year. I think 20 might happen. It's more likely to happen than it isn't going to, unless I do it very well, but we'll see. But yeah, Daymare, that, I, I don't want to play it because I don't like the first game, but we'll see how that goes, I guess. And then 40, I will do a full playthrough of Final Fantasy XIV of Born, with a potential for a new ward in the future for full plays of Heaven, Sword, and Stormblood. I haven't done full playthroughs of uh, the first three expansions. I only have on my YouTube uh, Shadowbringers and Endwalker. One unfortunate double could ruin this man's whole career. Not only that, because if you get double Maelstrom, it will then change that punishment to a new punishment called Triple, and Triple will then triple the karma for the next one so that yeah that could be terrible uh yeah it only works for once i'll explain how each punishment works when we get to them uh and i'll probably like put together a page i don't know how i'm gonna do that but we'll see but chat that's why you found a deal that's the plan the plan is to sit here in my comfy attire in the final fantasy 14 house um and watch some stuff have the vanity or preview here and have videos on it in the background and i tell you what chat why don't we use this feature to watch the final part of silent hill ascension i was thinking about this now and it could be a good way of doing it uh right so i'm gonna go here and watch the final part of silent hill ascension with all of you not on this screen on this screen sorry so I can move this screen and change the layouts, by the way, by doing this. There we go. So I can sit up here and have the game on below me. And this is how I'm going to be doing most of it when I'm watching videos and stuff. So I've got me here, I've got the logo down there. I'm going to take the logo off for this one because I'm doing Silent Hill Ascension. But everything here is customizable. So it should, in theory, allow me to do most things in the capacity at this place. 